What are the foundational pieces to acquisitions in real estate investing? My name is Jerry Green. I appreciate you being on today. Do me a favor, if you would, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. And also make sure you give me a like at the end of the video here too. Guys, I, I wanna talk more about this. When I look at this here, over the uh, last 27 years, I've been doing the business and I'm approaching 2000 transactions, okay, that I've been involved with over the years. And all these deals that uh, we've done over the years, a lot of them I've done right, a lot of them I've done wrong. But you know what's what, what's really you know eye-opening to me is that there's a, something we call um, you know the foundational uh, pieces of acquisitions, and these two foundational pieces will have a major impact on the way you do the business, okay, and that your your ability to convert and. If you guys don't get this, and if you don't pay attention to this, this will cost you millions of dollars in revenue, okay? And this is something that I think it's extremely, extremely, extremely important to take to your team. Now, if you have a team that's doing this, or, or if you're doing it, you guys, listen to me on this. And this sounds so simplistic. It is, but at the same time, it has such a major impact on your real estate investment business. So the first thing I look at guys is on these foundational pieces. Number one is that I see so many people totally drop the ball on is number one is having a conversation with your seller, okay? And I think what a lot of people do, and I hear a lot of people ask me all the time when they come to one of my sales trainings, they always say, hey, Jerry, hey, do you have a script? Do you have a script? Do you have a script? And they think the script is the answer. Being, they think that that is the answer to being successful at acquisitions. That, that's what they think. They think that they're going to be very successful in the real estate investment business if they, you know, in acquisitions, if they follow a script. And they think it's that simple. And I'm going to tell you guys, that is so far from the truth. In fact, I don't even like scripts. I think most of them are crap. And may, all they do is make you sound like a robot on the phone and make you sound like basically a salesperson. And the, the last thing you want to do when you're dealing with somebody uh, and talking to them about their selling their property, uh, you know, think about this, a seller is going through a tremendous situation. Maybe they had a death of a family member, maybe they're in foreclosure, or maybe they had a tenant tariff property, they'd have zero money to put into this, and you're trying to sell them, okay? You, you sound like a complete, absolute moron by doing that, all right? You wanna get out of the selling that side of things, and you don't wanna be scripted at all. You know, I used to, cause I first started this way, I read down a script. Hey, why are you selling your property? What's your address? What does the property need in repairs? How many bedrooms does it have? How many bathrooms? Does it have a garage? Okay, how big is the yard? What is the condition of the windows? What's the uh, year of the roofing? Uh, what, how old is the furnace? Okay, all these things. If your focus is to do that and do that every single time since you jump on the call, uh, I guarantee you that your success will be minimum down here. It will be on a low, low level. You'll make deals because they'll just, by just doing enough of them, they'll fall into your lap. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being a professional at this, okay? And being a professional in this, you have to follow these foundational pieces. And to me, you use a script is nothing more than, if you look at it, to me, it's a roadmap, okay? It's not being all scripted. It's a roadmap of what to follow in a way of a process on things. And that's what we call a sales process. That's what that's for. And then what we do is we're, then we, we, we follow by doing that. What we do is we focus on the first foundational piece, which is then having a conversation. Cause I look at, to me, uh, if you want to become excellent at, uh, being at acquisitions, first thing you have to do is focus on that foundational piece of being great at having a conversation. So just like you and I are talking here today and in this video here, guys, you know, I'm talking to you on things and you're getting my message across. 
I, I just want to connect with you. I just want to be your friend. I want to understand what's going on in your life, what's happening, what, what things are going on in the way of uh, making an impact on, on you and regarding uh, relationships. Maybe there's something that's really bothering you and I want to find out what that pain is. So I want to do that. Also, I want to build rapport with you. I want to become your friend. I want to understand what motivates you. And also, I want to understand what is really affecting you and, and what upsets you on things. See, the more I can do that, then I can understand how I can truly help you out. Because remember this, as human beings, all our decisions really are being based upon emotions. We're emotional beings. If that's the case, I can understand the emotional side of things. When I understand the emotional side, then I can work on that. And when I work on that, that's how you're going to make the bigger decision. You're going to be able to make it quicker versus later. And also, I don't sound salesy because now I'm working with you to truly try to help you out of your problem. I'm a solution driven person. So number one is have a conversation. It says, Hey, you know, Hey, um, uh, Sally seller, what's going on? Hey, Hey, Hey hun, how you doing today? Great. Hey brother, what's going on? Or Hey buddy, what's happening on things? You know, tell me a little bit about what's going on here. And uh, let me see if I can try to help you out of situation here. Okay, cool. And, and then you start building that relationship. Oh yeah, I know that person. Oh, I know that neighborhood. Yeah, you know, I used to own a house like that. I know I dealt with tenants before. I know exactly what you feel like on that. Man, that's awful to deal with that thing. Evictions are nothing but a pain in the butt, especially right now on things. Man, I, 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 I can understand that. I can imagine that would make a big difference in your life if you could get this done and over with. Is that true? True. Would that you know? I, I. What would you do with the money here uh, if you sold the house? Oh wow! I can imagine. Wow. What would that feel like for you? Okay. These are the type of things. See how I'm building that? It's all about that communication here, and that the conversation that I'm having. Then the second part of it, guys, is this: is to always follow a sales process. Now, some of you that already have been to my sales training before, uh, you know I have a set sales process. If you haven't, let me know. I can help you on this. But we have a set sales process, guys, that we go through. And my team does it, as well as my students. And when people follow the sales process, guys, that's how you get the results. So think about this. Now we tie these together. Now we have a conversation that I'm having. So I'm becoming your friend, just having a conversation, just like you would have with anybody that you know. Okay, you just have a conversation. At the same time, you're following a sales process and I'm walking them through this flow of things. So it's like, I'm having a conversation and we're walking along this trail. Just picture you walking along this trail. And this trail is a sales process. And I'm doing this to the point where you only really realize it as a seller and I'm walking you through. And my goal is to get you to the end of that path and get you to say, hey, you know what? I like you and I like to work with you. And it, it's either uh, we're doing it now or maybe we're in the position where it's a no right now. And that's okay because I'm pushing towards the no. And if I do that, then I find out truly what their motivation is and how I can help them. And maybe it's later. So guys, focus on this two things again, okay? Have a conversation, make sure you don't be too scripted, and number two, follow a sales process. The sales process is your roadmap. That's what we'll take you through. It's not a script, it's a roadmap. All right, guys, you know, I hope you enjoy this. If you listen to me on this, it will change your game. Do me a favor, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done it, and hey, give me a like. Talk to you later.